Hi guys! Welcome to the next lesson in the introduction to environmental systems and societies. Before we properly get started with the content in Unit 1, I just wanted to take a few minutes to go over some of the IB command terms that you will be using in your IB writing. So let's get started by looking at a quick list of some of the most important command terms. These come up a lot, things like define and list, describe, evaluate, and explain. Um, you also have compare and contrast come up not infrequently, and the important thing to remember there is that compare means that you are talking about the similarities between two different things, and contrast means that you are talking about the differences. Um, so those are really helpful to know. There's a full list linked here, and if the link doesn't work, you can just Google IB command terms and definitions, and there are a ton of good resources for this online. You can also, if you are following along in our IB textbook, um, Oxford Press by Jill Rutherford and Jillian Michaels, they have a great glossary with all of the command terms that you need to know listed in the back. So when you're writing out these command terms for paper one and paper two, it's good to be familiar with the formats of the paper one and paper two exams. So let's talk about that quickly. First, you need to pay attention to the point values. Each question is going to have a point value listed in parentheses next to it, and that will give you some indication of how much you need to write. You also need to be familiar with the formats because you're asked to do slightly different things in the different exams. And for your real IB exams, you need to be familiar with the time limits. You only have one hour to do your paper one exam and two hours to do your paper two exam. So make sure that you go in really knowing exactly how you want to answer the questions and timing yourself carefully because the number one thing that students say is that the time just flies by. Um, and you should also make some time to get familiar with the mark schemes. All of the activities in this class, I've made unique mark schemes based off of the formatting that the IB uses. Um, but it's really helpful every time that you do an IB style assessment to make sure that you are checking a mark scheme really carefully so that you have an idea of the things that the IB looks for in their responses. Mentioning writing, some quick tips for writing. You need to keep your answers in the answer boxes on these IB exams because especially now, what they do is scan the exams into a computer and cut out the answer box for a certain question and send like 200 of those to a grader. So if your answer is outside of the answer box, there's a possibility that it might not all get graded. So make sure that you write in the space that you're given and you can practice that in this class. You have all of your answer boxes spaced out on these response sheets. I also think it's helpful to get in the habit of writing a check mark where you think you earned a point. So if you think that something that you said deserves a point for a description, give yourself a check while you're writing so that you know when you're looking over the mark scheme whether or not your thinking is aligned with the IB thinking. And then I also think it's really helpful when you're looking at questions to underline the command terms before you start writing your answer and take a second to think about what the question is asking you to do. And if you make these into habits during the duration of the classes in this course, I think it will really help your IB writing. So let's get started with Unit 1. Whenever you are ready, move on to Foundations of Environmental Systems and Societies, and I will see you there.